Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. Today I'm happy to share one of my favorite healthy, nutritious, and dense soup recipes, my easy keto cream of zucchini soup, which is really based on an Italian recipe. I would like to ask that you please watch the entire video because in this video I'm going to show you how to turn this soup into a full hearty main meal and I'll also provide the macros for this entire meal. That's so you can decide how big or how little of a serving you want to eat. My meal demonstration will include a bonus tutorial on how to perfectly grill a juicy and moist steak. And by showing you how to combine a meal, you'll understand how to use a little bit more carby portion of the meal with something that's less carby so that your entire meal will stay within the desired macro ratio that you're aiming for. Or if you want your meal to be an OMAD, what to do for that. The macronutrient ratio for this cream of zucchini soup is 4.2 to 1 with 12.7 grams of total carbs, 3.9 grams of dietary fiber, resulting in 8.8 .8 grams of net carbs per 404 grams or one and a half cup serving of the soup. On this table I have assembled all the ingredients you'll be using to make this soup and as you can see I have chopped up and prepared all of my vegetables except for my zucchini. And before getting started, I would like to mention that I'm using my homemade broth, which I demonstrate in how to do in my easy bone broth and chicken soup video. To make the broth, I just make the soup and take the liquid for my broth out after it has cooked for a couple or three hours. Now, for the zucchini, I simply cut the whole zucchini in half lengthwise, then cut each piece in half again. Then put these lengths together and cut them into small even cubes. Try to make them as even as you can because even cubes are best since they will cook at about the same rate. After cutting up all the zucchini, just transfer it into a bowl and set that bowl aside for a moment. Next, to the soup pot you're going to use, pour in the oil and add the butter. And place it over medium heat on your stove top. Then when you notice that your butter is sizzling, toss in the chopped onions, celery and the carrots. Saute these vegetables until you notice that the onions are beginning to get soft and look a little bit translucent. But be careful because you don't want to brown the onions, you just want to sweat them. And that should take only about two minutes. Now toss in the grated garlic and stir to combine and cook for another 30 seconds, which will allow the garlic to season everything and for you to smell the garlic. And as soon as you smell the garlic, toss in the zucchini cubes. And then just stir to combine the zucchini cubes with the rest of the ingredients in the pot. At this point, also add the basil leaves and stir to combine. I forgot to mention that when you're rough chopping your basil, include the stems because the stems have a lot of flavor and everything will be pureed at the end anyway. Now it's time to season with the thyme powder, black pepper, and salt. Sprinkle that on top of the vegetable and then toss to combine. Now all you have to do is continue cooking until the zucchini is starting to get soft. That should take about 8 to 10 minutes. The next step is to pour in your stock or homemade broth. Add the lemon juice and the grated Parmesan cheese, which somehow I did not capture adding the Parmesan cheese to this soup, but I assure you I did add it at this point. Stir and let simmer uncovered for five minutes. The next step is to puree the soup by using an immersion blender directly in the pot. But since I don't have an immersion blender, I'm going to use my blender. I'm going to ladle a portion of the soup and vegetables in pureeing batches. And the reason for this is when you're using a blender and you're pureeing something hot, the pressure inside could blow the lid off. So only fill the container to about one third when I have completed pureeing all of my soup, I return the soup back into the same pot and adjust the heat to medium low and bring it to a light simmer. At which point I add the heavy whipping cream and a sprinkle of one teaspoon of glucomannan, which is a thickener in order to give the soup a really nice body. Then just stir everything. I'd suggest that you have a wee taste and adjust if you need to add a little bit more salt my soup is just perfect the way it is and how we like it. All that's left to do is let the soup simmer uncovered for 10 minutes. Now that was all there was to making the soup. I told you it was really easy. 
This tasty, nutritious, and very comforting soup can be enjoyed as part of a light meal all on its own, or you can even add a slice of my walnut bread, which goes perfectly with it. You can ladle out this soup and serve it either hot or cold. It tastes delicious both ways. In the winter time, we prefer it hot, but in the summertime, this is a great cold soup. And to finish everything off, I drizzle a teaspoon of olive oil over the surface. And voila, all done. If you're wondering why I'm adding olive oil, it's because it adds a bit more healthy fats and also the olive oil adds a bit more richness to the flavor. Now to describe the taste. This soup is very light tasting. None of the flavors are overpowering, but you can definitely taste the light flavor of the zucchini with a hint of the basil and a light background taste of Parmesan. The Parmesan also helps to thicken the soup. Now to make my grilled steak and show you my entire meal. In this video I'm using a strip loin which is also known as a porterhouse steak. I'm going to keep this very simple and I'm just going to sprinkle a bit of salt and pepper on both sides of the steak. Using a skillet I added the oil and let the oil heat on medium high heat until it was just before the smoke point, at which point I laid down the steaks. I want to brown my steak or have a Maynard reaction, so just leave it on the same side for two to three minutes until you see a nice brown crusty surface and then flip it once and grill the other side for two to three minutes. How long you grill on each side of course will have to be adjusted depending whether you like rare, medium or medium well done steaks. How long you have to grill on each side also depends on how thick your steaks are. I'd like to point out that the amount of time I've indicated for grilling my steaks will result in a medium rare level of doneness. One thing that I like about just a simple salt and pepper seasoning is that it really allows for the flavor of the wonderful tasting steaks to come through. When my steak is done, I transfer the steak onto a plate, add a teaspoon of unsalted butter on top, and let the steak rest for 10 minutes before serving and cutting. And of course, pour some of the pan drippings over the steak as well. This entire meal was very quick and simple and really delicious. And if you can do it in two frying pans, the entire meal is done in between 20 to 30 minutes, depending how quick you are. As promised, here are the macronutrient ratios for the entire meal. As you can see, the ratio is 3.5 to 1 with 13.4 grams of total carbs, 4.2 grams of dietary fiber resulting in 9.2 grams of net carbs for this entire meal of 1.5 cups of cream of zucchini soup and a fairly large steak. If you think this is too much for you, then all you have to do is reduce either the amount of soup you're serving or you can reduce the size of your steak. In this case, my steak had 226 grams. This kind of meal is what I would have when I'm doing an OMAD day. Or this quantity is also served as a typical meal for my husband and adult sons. The goal is to stay within your carb count for the day and eat a well-balanced meal based on whole healthy ingredients. So, I hope you will enjoy my soup and my entire meal suggestion. And do let me know what you would serve with the soup. I like it when people share their ideas because it helps everybody in this community. Thank you very much for watching this recipe and cooking class video. I would be honored if you would share my channel link with someone that you know because word of mouth is the best way to help me grow my channel. As always, the link for the written and printable Easy Cream of Zucchini Soup and any other video I have mentioned in this demonstration all the links will be provided in the description below. So if you want more information in detail, click on the links. Until next time, take care and have a happy day. Cheers!